the issue is for a lot of people, uh, like particularly street performance, is the fabrication. Yes. How, where am I going to put this air-to-air -air intercooler? Yep. And if you don't intercool a supercharged or turbocharged engine, there's a problem with heat. Yeah. So the the nice the nice thing is, is the newer models like this D1X and the P1X or F1A94 or like the big blowers that you guys do when you're doing the new F F3s. The good news is, is we spent a lot of time on impeller design to bring the temperature change per pound to boost, you know, about as low as we can More get. More thermodynamic. Yes, efficient. yes, yes. Blowers, you know, older models, they move a lot of air, but they also create a little create bit a more heat. heat with it. Yes. Right. So with the newer designs, the focus really has been like the temperature gain per pound to boost, right. keeping that at a minimum, uh, while also at the same time taking the drive load uh, off the belt. But like you said, not everybody, uh, you know, you got to cool it down. And not everybody has room for an air-to-air -air intercooler, and not everybody wants to fabricate their tubing. Now, granted, you know, for me and you, that might be pretty easy, you know, that, that's like a Saturday afternoon. But to make it easy, really easy the air to water intake manifold right bolts right on charge pipe very simple we we will supply that with the kit um, or if somebody wants to make it different they can but by having a bottom feed come up through this intercooler core and then it reverse and go back down the runners so two passes yep yep exactly and it's a very compact so this this we've test fit this in Oh my gosh, all, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so this would fit under a C7 hood with a uh, sort of C6 with... I believe that was the goal, is to keep it under a C7. I'll have to double check if it does fit under a C7, but we wanted to keep it uh, the same as like a factory GM supercharger, height-wise. Um, I know the other thing we kept at was like a CTSV, like an LSA motor, and those swap in lots of cars and fit very nicely, especially like restoration cars, Novas, Chevelles, and... Malibus and all that. So that's truly was the goal, was to keep that footprint in mind. Here, uh, what we have is the 3D printed yes. version so, because it's not yet commercial. With development, you never really know, but what is your goal on when this would be commercially available? The goal is going to be late spring. But here. the LT version, is that available now? Correct. Whether all-out race, road and track, or street performance, give us a call at 815-725-2727 to order a ProCharged LS, LT, or Big Block Chevy for your ride.